Hi, Becky Seda with Seda Real Estate Group, and I want to talk to you today about 1525 Southwest 149th Street. It is five and a half acres um, in Southwest Oklahoma City, just near, um, it's between Penn and Western. So I, the reason that I really love this piece of land is um, that anything that you build on it is going to increase in value over time substantially because of the amount of land it's on and how close close it is to Oklahoma City. So a lot of people are getting, um, ten, well, tend to get a little bit of sticker shock on land prices the closer you get to Oklahoma City. And because of that, you just need to understand supply and demand. Um, obviously, people who are wanting some land but work in Oklahoma City, that's what drives those land prices up. There's just not as much of it. And the further you get away from Oklahoma City, the more affordable land gets. So the reason that this land is as affordable as it is, is because the majority of it is in a floodway and a flood zone. But there is about an acre on the uh, north, I'm sorry, the southeast corner that has frontage to Southwest 149th. Um, about an acre of that is not in a flood zone. So um, really, really great place to build a home and have lots of land behind you. It is not in any sort of HOA. So if you want chickens, get you some chickens. But if you look at the homes that are built on land in Oklahoma City and very, very close to, those property values go very high. So if you are thinking about building a house, don't be scared of those land prices because like I said, that's that's like, you know, starting an investment account for your family. And actually, um, I'm looking at it right now, it's, um, it's about $62,000 an acre, which again, sounds very high, but it is not. If it were not in a flood zone, we would be looking at much closer to $100,000 an acre. So it's it's priced the way it is because of the flood zone that's at the back of the property. Um, five and a half acres, it is zoned agricultural. So that's interesting to note. It is not zoned commercial. So this is, um, again, something that that has an influence on the price as well. But if you look at this much acreage, this close to Oklahoma City, A, it doesn't come on the market very often, and B, when it does, you're looking at, you know, I mean, I've seen acreage this size go for a million dollars and because it's just, there's just not very much of it. So classic supply and demand means that you know, there's not a whole lot of supply and there's a lot of people who are wanting to live on land but still have good and um, fast access to downtown Oklahoma City. So this one is, is pretty great access to I-35 or I-44. It is in more public schools. So it's in Southmore High School, South Ridge Junior High, which is the new junior high, um, and Wayland Bonds Elementary. So I would encourage you to look those schools up on um, our state's school grading system to see how they compare, but I do have a lot of buyers who like to be in more schools. I just wanted to spotlight this, this property. Um, it's got a creek that runs down the west side that greens up really beautifully. Obviously that creek is the reason for that floodway, so be you know bear that in mind, but again, that acre that's on the south, um, the southeast corner of the property would be a perfect place to put your house and then have all of that land behind you. Additionally, it's important to note that all of those houses over there, um, more or less, are in the same floodway flood zone. And so there is something that's called a a loamer one come out there and tell you, okay, your foundation needs to be this high and um, talk, talks about elevation and all of those things. And you get a letter of uh, map revision or a loamer um, from, uh, from FEMA and that will help you with uh, the flood zoning as well. So a lot of the houses, I have seen a map of that area and the houses that are in that area that have um, been granted those, um, very high number. So just, like I said, really great way to get a good deal. The sell price on that property is $345,000 for five and a half acres, basically in Oklahoma City. 
So um, the address is Oklahoma City, zip code is 73170, really amazing property. So call me if you have questions, if you have concerns, if you don't know how to get started on purchasing land, it is a different process than getting a mortgage on a house. So if you are not familiar with purchasing land, give me a shout. I do believe that this one can be um, divided, but I would need to check on that and make sure because it's already been divided um, a couple of times. So great property in Oklahoma City. If you want to live on five and a half acres and have your kids go to uh, Southmore High School, I think that would be great. And then, like I said, just take a look at the property values as you drive down these streets um, that used to be way out in the country and are now part of Oklahoma City. So um, Becky Sato with Sato Real Estate Group. We are never too busy for your referrals. Uh, we love to take care of your friends and family. We love to answer your real estate questions and have really great conversations um, and, and shed some light on processes and, and how you can get into real, real estate ownership. Thanks, guys.